Hi, this is Congressman Ken Buck. After careful consideration and much prayer, I have decided not to seek a sixth term in the U.S. House of Representatives. Pretty big announcement. Huge, some would say, from Republican Congressman Ken Buck announcing he will not seek re-election for Colorado's 4th Congressional District. And that's why we need Kelly Maher to come in and talk to us about it as the Republican political analyst for us. First of all, what does this mean for the Colorado Republican Party? You know, so this is really a pretty big deal. It's an open seat for the Colorado Republican Party. And ultimately, Republicans have so little power in the state right now, and frankly, so few seats that I think we're going to see a bunch of people jumping into this race. People who you wouldn't classically see run for Congress because they're going to see this as like their one shot ever to make their way. And it's going to be like 50 people trying to play musical chairs with only three chairs. In this. <laughs> it's going to be it's going to be a free for all because everybody sees this as like their one chance to make it to Congress versus on the other side, there's a lot more opportunity for growth. Well, it so it's like running for mayor, like 47 yeah. names. You well, have that's no how idea. Started, yeah. Will, will it define Colorado's Republican Party in some ways right now? Because it seems like we've just went going through this in Congress, trying to find out where the Republican center is. Uh, will this define Colorado's Republican Party a bit as well? So it's been really fascinating to watch the Republican Party over the last few years. Under Dave Williams, who is the new chairman of the Republican Party, we've seen a lot of you know, attacks within the tent, things that you wouldn't have seen, never, used to happen. never would have seen before. And so I think that the Republican Party in such a minority is in the middle of a real existential crisis. So it'll be fascinating to see who's going to get into this race and who is going to prevail, because this is really a question of game theory right now. Until the process is entirely solidified, the GOP right now is, in fact, suing Secretary of State Jenna Griswold in order to try to uh, strip unaffiliated voters back off of the primary voting system. And also then we saw rule change attempts to try to really constrict who can get that Republican nomination. That's going to be the question. It'll play out in real life now. It will play out in real life. And, you know, I've heard some big names already. I've heard uh, Representative Mike Lynch is in leadership. He's already being talked about. Unclear whether or not, he, if he runs, he'll be able to keep that leadership spot because this is really a primary that should end up in June. I've heard George Brockler. I'm sure that Frank McNulty is going to be getting the call as he's the only other person who has won that district. He's a CU regent. I've heard Heidi Ganahl. I've heard, you know, names oh that gosh, we have. We know all of those names. <laughs> but who would yeah. matter? Like, someone is going to throw their, their weight behind him. And the, the number, the heaviest weight in the Republican Party nationally is still Donald Trump. Mm -hmm. is do if Donald Trump Trump supports a candidate, is that the, going to end up being the candidate in that district? You know, I don't know if that's necessarily the case, Tom, because we saw Donald Trump supporting Scott uh, Tipton against Lauren Boebert, and she still got the nomination. So that was really a question of tone versus the endorsement. I think the endorsement that they're really looking for is Ken Bucks, because that's he won nice. the district. He has some really strong things to say, and who is going to listen to the speech that he gave today? because he really vivisected the state of the yeah. Colorado Republican Party. I am old enough to remember when he ran as a Tea Party candidate to the right of Jane Norton, and he was considered one of the most conservative guys in Colorado. And now he is running, or now he's basically stepping back and saying, this is a banana circus. I don't want anything <laughs> to do with it. Do you think he moved or do you think it all moved from you under know, him. It's, so this is the question, right? This is the Overton window question. And in Colorado, with the Republican Party right now, it feels like an Overton kaleidoscope, not like a window, right? It's so hard to really tack it down. So last question, real yes. short. Yeah. What does Ken Buck do now? Is he headed for the glamorous life of television? Oh, I mean, yeah. he's been doing a lot of TV hits <laughs> lately. He really has. And people are, people are booking him. So we'll see if he sticks with it. Well, and that's when he could really have a say in this race a broader as well. Say. Yeah, it yeah be that'd be interesting. Kelly, it's always good to see you. This we always need more time with you. I know, it's day. so much fun. Okay. <laughs>